Hello everyone, this is Katerina and I'll bring you the new moon report in Pisces and um, what a roller coaster we are literally on. And my guides really prompted me to tell you some of you really not only shifted um, timelines but also dimensions um, around the 20th, 22nd of February. And clients were asking me in sessions, Katarina, did I drop down in frequency? And I said, why? Well, everything feels so dull or um, I feel my energy is lower. And often that is the case when we shift into a higher frequency, into a higher dimension, even that's even more pronounced, um, where we feel a bit out of sync. And <laughs> somebody, I, I always feel like I'm bumpy on ice, like, oh, wow, how, how does this, this one work? How is this? Um, settling in and um, you know when I'm out in nature work energetically and then come home my home also feels duller and lower in frequency so that high energy that I absorb also wants to be anchored in our home and our life so I play then certain Hertz frequency music I use sage or incense depending which one I've got really beautiful ones from Glastonbury Star Child. Um, which one do I have? The Green Men and the Love, where you put them on those little black discs. That really enhances the energy and shifts lower density quite quickly. And um, definitely knowing you actually upgraded rather than dropped. So you can also do that body check that I've mentioned before. You put your hands on your heart breathing in and then see if you ask yourself a yes question and a no just to know what your response is and then you get a body response to did I drop them in or did I reach <laughs> into higher dimensions or did I go down in lower dimensions. Um, that is a real intense process so some of you are just about to settle in after these huge shifts and often those dimensional shifts are not instantaneously. It's not like how we feel, oh, I stepped over the threshold and now everything is unfolding and everything is now working out fine. It's usually, um, it can take up to days or weeks even, where you feel like now, now I'm really settled in the new. And in this period, we are very sensitive, feel very vulnerable, very unusual. And that's understandable because the identity, the frequency field that was running our life is gone. And we're just about build up a new frequency that is supporting us to where we are going. Um, so those periods, you also feel lightly irritable, um, you feel headaches. Um, I never ever felt that I needed to be so extremely hydrated like at the moment. I feel like I have two or three liters of um, alkaline liquid and then coffee comes on top of that. And it's like my body gets extremely dehydrated at the moment because of that increase in frequency. And my guides also said um, the symptoms also um, overall are that our brain or no, where do I start? So the frequencies that are coming in are extremely high. Earth has shifted into the fifth dimension. That means the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, um, the trees, everything is now in a higher frequency. We get so, so extremely high codes from the above. Um, and that means we are shifting, you know, our whole body um, is aligning and this year is going to be, or it already is extremely physical. And from that place where um, the frequencies are intensified, everything is speeding up. And that also speeds up the process in our body. Um, my hair grows much quicker. Um, and we also process energies quicker. That means we um, release quicker and we upgrade more in a shorter amount of time. But that can be very stressful for our bodies because our body is like, wow, the energy below me has completely shifted. The above is quite unstable. The human collective, I speak about that in a minute. That's a whole other story. So where do I align myself? How do I align myself? And my guides um, prompted me for some of the information last night. And then I dreamed about trees and the trees were forming a Ganesh um, statue. And that is a sign also for our worldwide situation. Um, Ganesh being the overcomer of obstacles and that energy of peace, resolution um, and the more of us really tuning into that peaceful, harmonious state, the more we stay aligned with our highest and greatest good, 
the more that other frequency is dissolving. And from quantum physics, higher frequencies always have a higher impact. It's my guides sometimes say, you know, it's like if you have a 50 watt lamp versus a 500 watt lamp, which one brings more light? So higher frequencies are the 500 watt, 500 watt lamp. <laughs> and that is shifting it and the more we go into that frequency of peace and um, the more joy we can feel we also bring that into the collective because sometimes it feels a bit counterintuitive to feel how can I be happy when this is going on in the world and they are saying the more joy and happiness you feel the more positive impact and change you can bring and um, one of you kindly invited me over messenger for a worldwide meditation that took place on Saturday and I went to my stone circle and I could really feel that world community that the hearts joined together bring in that higher resonance and um, I feel all of us who have that higher frequency all of you who are watching this all hearts on deck to bring um, changes for the better for all of us and um, yeah, with that high speed processing, in my case, I know my higher chakras have always been intense and I feel like my brain is on constant overdrive ever since January. And it's like, I really haven't learned how to, how to reduce it. It's like I've ran from a Ford KA to a Porsche and all of a sudden just tipping the gas, I assume, you know, I'm miles further away than I would have been with a Ford KA. Um, and that feeling of how do we master those new frequencies and my friend said to me Katarina you shouldn't go for a walk you should go for a stomp instead to just really bring it through the physical and my guides last night prompting me for today really said this year is all about physicality that means the higher energies that we've been holding that we've been bringing in are now materializing in the physical realm and they gave me a picture us becoming that bridge between heaven and earth and we've researched the materials we checked the designs now we've ordered the company we have the material and now we're actually building that bridge on a physical level so before many of the energies we shifted we're building our light body structure holding that the construction around it and now it's really the nitty gritty bit of physicality and that means extreme hydration change in your food and diet i need to take a lot of hemp powder chlorophyll spirulina um, seaweed these are all um, pineal gland brain foods um, and then what else did i say um, and that is also firing new codes in our system. So that extreme acceleration is also shifting our DNA. We get the new earth codes now, boom, boom, boom. It's almost like an electrifying um, energy. And when I was on Sunday in the absolute storm at the beach and it was so stormy, I had to wear my sunglasses and my eyes are still hurting from the intensity. It was four hours, it was really cold, but an unusual feeling, there was nobody at the beach at the four hours I think I met eight people um, but it felt just really extraordinary in this in-between space and when I tuned in standing looking into the sun my guide said that the March equinox will be a portal into infinite realms into real bright energy immense new codes and then the um, solar eclipse end of April which is also the Beltane the Celtic fire festival my guide said this is absolute super deep space energies reaching us that we can connect with and that is an impact that raises a frequency yet again for us way showers for all of you who resonate with these messages frequency holders team shift and uplift rise and shine um the anchoring the stabilization also the alchemization at the moment especially and then the collective will more shift into the fifth dimension overall towards the end of the summer lion's gate and more in that direction. So we bring those first higher waves in and then they filter through because at the moment um, the planet itself is in 5D. Quite a few humans are 5D, 70, 90 and I don't know if beyond even. Um, <laughs> my guide said when you're beyond 90 you get your wings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So if you see anybody with wings, they've extended beyond 90. Um, 
And with that feeling um, of that rise in frequency, we also shift how we experience the world. Yet the overall majority of humans on Earth is in 4D. And 4D is that absolute extreme, the brightest of light and the darkest of dark. And we have those last strongholds where the 4D isn't wanting to give in to that draw into higher frequencies. And the more you send that higher vibrational energy in, the more that will be dismantled. And while this tension between those polarities is still going on, um, it can feel eerie and um, strong. And then once all or the overall, the tipping point is reached of the overall of humanity reaching 5D, it'll collapse in itself. It doesn't have that same magnetic frequency um, that it still holds at the moment. And then when I ask my guides um, what is happening overall on an energetic level for all of us, and they said we are being recorded at the moment and just have to have a look for Twin Flames and Sacred Partnerships. It's really that new divine template of the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and that coming together in equal balance and harmony. So all those corrupted um, templates are being healed and harmonized. Then there's also the rise of the divine feminine, the soul sovereignty, my guides called it last night. So that's really stepping into your inner authority, into your inner alignment and um, speaking your truth, being authentic and holding your own light. You know, I've got the card shine your light and that's that feeling behind. And then... Um, I stand in my own love, light and power. That is the energy behind it. And then we have the soul signature and alignment with your highest self and highest calling. That means we are aligned with our that frequencies, you know, we really go above and then we radiate it out into the collective. And all of these recordings really attract our soul tribe where we come together, where we say, oh my God, are you on the same wavelengths than I am? This is what I want to create or this is where um, I want to give this to humanity. I want to bring in change and positivity. And this is, um, say, the overall energy that we are dealing with. And with this beautiful new moon in Pisces, which is really dreamy, which is another opening to other realms. Um, Lady Venus is again very strong, um, the divine feminine. And my guide said, all of you who are aware of a vision quest, this is a perfect time tomorrow on this new moon to do a vision quest to open your field, what serves my highest and greatest good, where am I guided to go, any insights I'm meant to receive, um, also a perfect time like I have a grid in my home for love, peace, anchoring it into the ley line system right where I am to let it reach out into the world, um, any activities around that. and. Um, my guide said, it's like we're taking a cosmic deep breath, relax and receive. So it's really the more we open our field tomorrow to that beautiful energy, the more it helps us with this recoding, resetting in a more gentle manner. And it's an enormous energy of joy that's coming in from higher dimensions to all of us. And set intentions for your well-being, vision and success. So let's see what light language wants to come in. Um, again, you connect with your heart if you feel guided to. Connect with other souls around the world that have a beautiful high vibration and the intention is very strongly also for love, peace, healing all around the world. Namaha. 
Iwae keke na namasa. Iwae keke na namasa. Siwa shasha kase se namaha. Miwe na na. Miwe na namasa. He wash keke asa sa kaka namaha. Asa sa kaka namaha. Niwa sa sa maha. Niwa sa sa maha. I Wow, <laughs> I shifted. Um, wow, um, we had galactics coming in really softly and beautiful, saying they are supporting us. They're bringing um, higher frequencies. They stabilize the earth field and really support us. We had the elven towards the end coming in. You know, go into nature, rejoice with those higher frequencies. We are there. It's already happening. It is all surrounding us, a beautiful energy. The dolphins at the very end said um, they're helping us to let go of the grip of fear. So if you feel like you're drowned and snowed under with what's happening, connect with the dolphins and they really help you to race um, through this, heal through this. And then in the beginning, it was this beautiful, beautiful goddess energy that loving, opening the chalice of the heart, um, healing, rejuvenation, just a fantastic energy. And I send you so, so much love. I wish you a most wonderful new moon with all those beautiful visions to come through where we radiate and anchor divine love, light and healing and peace on our planet. And for those of you who feel called on the 20th of March, I'll do another activation into that portal of peace. Um, so, you know, you will receive codes, healing, insights and guidance. And I wish you a most wonderful rest of your day. Namaste to you.